All right, folks, one of the questions I get the most often, I, I get this sometimes multiple times a week, whether it's in my classes or online, is what size gloves do I need to get? And also, what else do I need to start kickboxing? So I'm gonna give you the answers to that. Uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'm also gonna give you a little extra tip for your first class or when you first start training. That might save you some discomfort and or embarrassment. I got a little story about that. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna make this nice and sweet and short and to the point. When you start off, the general rule for most gyms is you want 16 ounce gloves. So they don't really come in medium, small, large, they come in ounces. And that is how much padding is on the glove. The reason why most gyms want you to wear 16 ounce gloves is because the padding will help protect your partners if you're doing contact drills with them, which if you're a beginner, you're probably not gonna be. Um, but it also helps like save your joints. If you're hitting heavy bags and hitting pads, especially when you're a beginner, you're probably not gonna be doing it with the best form. And so having some extra cushioning helps take off the pressure going into your joints. When I was younger and I first started out, I used like those little small MMA gloves. I would be wailing away on a heavy bag with not the greatest form and it really affected my shoulders. So even if you aren't doing contact drills with partners, get some bigger gloves, 60 ounce gloves. It's gonna help save your joints, okay? Now that being said, if you happen to have 14 ounce gloves or 12 ounce gloves, like you know, you have a friend who gave you a pair of gloves or you, someone's lending them to you or some of that, you know, I'm not gonna kick you out of my gym if you come in 14 ounce gloves and you're doing bag work or some of that. So you can see the, the difference in padding isn't that much difference. These are 14s, these are 16s, they're roughly the same, the same company. Now, as you get better, you're gonna to wanna to have two pairs of gloves, but we'll get into that in a different video. So to start off with, 16 ounce gloves if you can, but 14s or even 12s are okay if you're not doing contact drills, but 16 ounces are better. So next thing you're gonna want is some shin guards. You don't need to go blow a bunch of money on shin guards. A decent pair, I like, I like leather stuff. A decent pair, I like the little loops here that the strap can go through. By doing this, when you pull it through, when you pull it through, you can get it nice and tight and form fitting to your leg, and it just makes it more comfortable. They slip around a lot less. I've had other shin guards though that don't have that. You kind of have to tuck them in, and they work fine too. It's just a little bit more work to get them to stay there, but honestly, it's not that big a deal. The other ones you're gonna see if you want to like kind of like save some money are like the sock style. I don't recommend those for beginners because you're probably gonna end up kicking someone a little harder than you intend to or, or whatever, and it just, it doesn't feel good. They don't have as much padding, they're not as safe to use. But again, if you come to my class and you're a beginner and that's all you have for your first few classes, that's not gonna be a big deal. If you wanna get some 60 ounce gloves and a decent pair of shin guards, I'm gonna leave links below to, to some budget friendly stuff that you can get and also the stuff that I like to use for myself. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to buy is some hand wraps. Uh, you need some good quality hand wraps. I recommend 180 inches. You could probably get away with 160 inches if your hands are a little smaller. But the longer wraps will allow you to get more wraps around your wrist, uh, around your knuckles, like all the vulnerable parts of your hands. You'll also be able to wrap in between your fingers, which is really nice. You will see sometimes like the shorter 108 inch wraps. I do not recommend buying those. I think those are made for kids or something like that because I've never met an adult who's been able to use those and go between their fingers and do everything. Uh, knowing what wraps help protect your hands and your wrists because I mean really your hands aren't supposed to be weapons. They're not really meant for that. They're pretty vulnerable to getting hurt. So not only will the wraps help protect your hands, they'll also soak up a lot of the sweat which makes it a lot easier to keep your gloves clean and stink free. And I have a couple of videos about that that I'll link at the end of this so you can kind of watch those to make sure you keep your gear, uh, you know, in good working order. No one wants to train with a smelly guy, right? Now, a lot of gyms skipping rope is mandatory. I uh, do suggest if you're at one of those gyms that you get your own rope. This is like six bucks. I got this from Cage Side MMA 11 years ago and I still have it. It's nothing fancy. Um, I can set it exactly how I want it. I just tie a little knot here put it through and it's exactly the length that I need. I don't have to worry about trying to find the right rope or someone uses the rope I'm, I like or they change the size on it. This is mine, it's always gonna be set to exactly how I like it. And like I said, six bucks, it's an investment that will last you many, many, many years, okay? Now last but not least, what to wear, okay? Pretty much most gyms are gonna be just say like, wear a comfortable t-shirt and shorts and that's about it. And that's fine. What I don't recommend wearing though is wearing uh, basketball shorts, like the big baggy ones with the big pockets. So avoid anything with metal or anything with big pockets. The reason why obviously metal, you know, someone kicks it or their foot gets stuck in a zipper that has metal, it can get cut. But the other reason why, and this doesn't happen very often, but I have seen it happen, it actually happened to one of my students here, 
is we were doing a drill and they were throwing kicks and the person redirected the kick and the foot went into the pocket. And what happened from there is the pants went down. So the guy had his pants pulled down. This was actually during a demonstration. And you know, it's a little bit embarrassing. So try to wear shorts with minimal space in the, in the pockets and no zippers, nothing metal. If you have a snap on the back or some of that, it's not a big deal, but try to avoid that. Wear athletic shorts with small pockets and you should be good. All right, folks, that's it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it nice and short and sweet. If you wanna watch another video on how to keep your wraps and your gloves clean, click over here. If you wanna subscribe, click over here. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.